afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane. Today, a Monday novice fight. Yes, indeed, it does for a bit more sensitive constitution. Might want to invert their cases. The rest of you looking to learn? Keep watching. And of course, we are heading over to New Year soon. The day before all that nonsense, or the same day, whatever. And it looks like I've already reached 3,100 subscribers, which is quite grand. I believe I reached a few, th gained a few thousand subscribers this year. That's quite nice. That's quite lovely. And of course, we've also gotten the announcement of coming years too. Bit the alpha stress. And of course, next year we'll hopefully be getting more thousands of subscribers. And of course, company of years too. And who knows what else. So all in all, looking pretty damn good. We are watching Kojaki and fighting for the 10th SS Panzer Division Funsberg with a two Kettenkrat start. Panzer gun is on the way and opposing him shall be Lamfada fighting for the Commonwealth, fighting for the 1st Infantry Division. Lieutenant out, truck interesting enough is not moving yet. Already there, normally one would, you know, after the defendant left ten is out, move the truck, for example, towards this point and that nearby medium munitions, which would definitely initially boost resources. Perhaps towards here to secure the point up towards the fuel point, or perhaps right here. Also within the range of the Vickers machine gun emplacement right there, definitely a few possibilities right there. Should not be underestimated. And looks like no. The Brits are in fact ignoring the fuel. They're going for the high munitions there. Second interjection out, and looks like the truck is actually packing up now. So the question is, of course, where will it be going this late on? And of course, is a slight thing. The infantry section number two, of course, without the supervision of lieutenant, is going to be moving rather cautiously. Are suddenly treating everything as hostile territory, and getting scared by everything. Oh no, what's that? That's just the lieutenant. Oh no, what's that? That's a cup of tea, Jerry. Calm down. Jerry, you said Jerry. They're ever no, they're not. Shut it. Anyway, his headquarters command truck is moving. I worry he might be going for that one since that is where the reconnaissance section is heading. And we do see fine linking up the lieutenant right there. But of course, there's a slight, not really good thing about that. Of course, there will be a lot of territory disconnected for quite some time, never mind of course that the truck will be quite far away. Could you any there's the travel time, of course that's going to be time where you can't build or train anything while the truck moves this long arduous trip. And of course at the same time as he's seemingly moving up all troops close together, of course keeping nothing in the center, of course the Kettenkrads will move in and take territories right here in fact, going in for a cut off right there. All for high munitions point of course if he'd just gone for this one, he might not have gotten quite the same amount, but overall he would probably have more munitions by then at this stage. And that's smart. Yes, what you're doing on the other hand is less smart. Going for the fuel point right there, about time. Securing the other munitions there. Clearly as someone who likes his munitions, not so much everything else. And we are seeing an infantry half tank out to support. Two pounds are going to escort already out. No Gewehr 43 upgrades. I mean, generally, unless you already intend to go scorched earth and perhaps lay down some incendiary traps. I mean, you generally want Gewehr 43s, and by the looks of it, he's not going for the other. He's back going for Luftwaffe. So in that case, he wants Gewehr 43s. So why on earth he doesn't upgrade his pounds are going to Gewehr 43s and get that rather vital initial firepower boost is beyond me. Now he's got a section standing back doing nothing. Needs to connect this territory. Come on, lads. Get it connected before the hands connected for you. And that's not going to be the sort of connection you want. Infantry half track. Not supporting the infantry. I mean, generally, if you're getting going to get an infantry half track, use it with your Panzer Grenadiers. I mean, stuff one squad in it, preferably with a Gewehr 43, and you've got a very nasty combination. Overall, also something that sort of decreases attrition, since troops inside half tax take considerably less damage, thus you don't have to pay a lot of resources towards manpower. Replacements, which again, as the Panzer is quite vital, since it costs a lot to replace Panzer Grenadiers. So in that sense, again, get it up there, Dummkopf. I mean, again, no point in getting an infantry half track and not having it support your infantry. 
Now, of course, running straight into several squads now. This is sort of situation. Yes, we get out. Here, what something though he should probably do here, Mr. Lamfana, is get off a wreck. He shot just right here. That would finish off a squad. and definitely be a problem for Kojakian. But he fails to seize the opportunity, which basically means he did not get to completely wipe out a score. And again, where was the infantry half check? It was nowhere. And also now getting the Kampfgruppe company upgrade and another infantry half check. Could be he might go for some punches Rex. Who knows? Of course, he now knows where the headquarters command truck is. So in case he does decide to go on a lot of them, he yeah, knows where to go. Of course, I have to see how that evolves. Panzer Shrek upgraded. Could be that was what he's saying from Nissan's form, in which case he will go on a raid here. And of course, in that sense, this would be quite exposed, which of course is another reason to be careful about going this far out. And perhaps sticking to here, here you want it all to be somewhere relatively safe. Generally, also would have to pass through several of your men to get to it. Infantry half tech moving about. Not really doing much. Pulling him back. Pentagon is getting trained. Upgrade it. Could see another Panzer flick. And what are we doing here? Might want to get moving and of course also ensure that your troops are sort of keeping the headquarters command truck sort of at the heart of things. Ensuring there are no unbroken lines, no bit where the Jerry's can infiltrate. And again, this has not been connected in quite some time which is quite considerably silly and this is also not very good. There we go, some upgraded, getting into the truck. Troops just standing about again, troops standing about, not the best thing to do. Take points. Generally you do not want any points of inactivity, you don't want people standing about enjoying a cigarette or a cup of tea. And in particular you also want to secure the center of things. We are seeing a field support truck out. Infantry half tech falls away these chaps. There we go, Panzer half track on the way. Light infantry Schützenwagen, or Schützenpanzerwagen actually, silly me. Used by reconnaissance ground. units mostly, although some who could not get the middle one would also get those. Generally though, only handed out to the first battalion of each regiment, or in one, some cases only one regiment. And otherwise reconnaissance units, but again, these were mainly reconnaissance. Staying about there. Rather open lines here. Truck moving up here. He could easily stop it here. Why must you move it further, Lamfata? Just stop it there. There's no point in heading further up there. That's just wasted time. Never mind, it also affect your troops having to leave that spot. You know, negative carry territory slows your troops down and makes them easier targets. Why not here? Oh, for heaven's sake. And now we're seeing a Bren carry all of a sudden. Going for the centre, but again, note here, there's an easy path straight for his headquarters. Not, should not be happening, in particular not this far ahead. There should always be troops ready to intercept anything that might rush straight for your headquarters. Simple strategy. Keep that troops between your headquarters and the enemy. Oh, for heaven's sake. Lamfada. And more panzer tricks, of course, at the same time, I mean, Kojakin, of course, making a bit of a mistake by practically doing nothing with his troops, you know, just waiting. He could be doing damage to the troops instead. Of course, now he's saving up and moving in for the kill. He's probably hoping for some sort of one blow, and of course, hoping his opponent leaves after that. Brenke, of course, going to do considerably little. He's not even using armor pitting rounds. We could actually stop some of the half tracks a bit. Sadly, that does not seem to be on Lamfada's list of priorities, which is quite a waste. Question is, of course, will Lamfard response? Will he retreat troops? No, he's just standing about. Still no attempt at even armor pitting rounds. Field support truck spotted, headquarters in trouble, and again the response is woefully neg negligent. It's not even there. His headquarters getting assaulted, he's not doing anything. Not really a solid command ring. Sappers out, of course, the field support truck. And of course, could have even had troops out to respond to this had it stopped up there and begun training rather than having to go the arduous journey into the swamp just to place itself off far there. Again, pretty pointless by Lamfada. Mildly put. Another headquarters out. Retreats to Sappers. Panzer is now with the assault rifles moving in. The assault grenadiers. 
Going against the infantry section, doing quite a bit of nice damage. They might want to consider retreating as well. Leave the position, lads. The Huns are too powerful. The enemy has struck. And something went down. Probably a kitten crowd. In fact, both kitten crowds are gone now. Field support truck, of course, not really a good position either. Oh, roll so far, not really solid strategic grasp by Lamfada. Left the headquarters open and did nothing to really respond and punish the Germans for it. Which is quite depressing. Instead, he continues to secure territory, but again, he can't do much with it because it's not connected. Although, again, we do see the truck up here. Needs to get his troops up there, and we might actually see the infantry half-tech spotting it quite soon. How about retreating back and getting reinforcements? And I'm far reporting where will that hurt. Well, you just lost two of your command trucks due to inactivity and not really doing much, mate. What we're expecting to happen, Tickle. Well, now the headquarters number two is under threat. Shall Lamfada respond to this in a slightly more energetic and actually responsive manner, or no? He'll apparently just stand about while his second headquarters command truck gets blown to bits with panjax. No, no, wait, no. That's actually movement. There is movement. Good heavens. More kitten crowds, more troops standing about. Come on. Just make a retreat and get back to it quickly. Chop, chop, ladies. Sap has been up great with Piat, the projector infantry anti tank. Was quite heavy, but alright, effective. There we go. Infantry half tech gone in a few bursts. That nice. Panzer is already quite a bit of efficiency because of all the command trucks they've blown up. Overall, a pretty. Well, nice response by Lamfada. I mean, he's lost a second headquarters command truck. I mean, that's... You know, he's going to have wasted... Spent now 800 manpower on headquarters command trucks once he caught in the second one. That really ought to display the amount of waste displayed right here by the British commander. Not really good at all. Certainly not really protective of his headquarters at all. Troops again standing about... Doing nothing, not good either. Again, inactivity is the one thing you should always fight to avoid. And of course, now the Panzer Grenadier commander of the Frontsberg is being a bit more aggressive. He's actually moving about taking a few points. That's all right. Panzer commander up. He could get some armor cars, possibly and finish things off. Brits are moving in there towards the Kittenkrad. Moving in the headquarters towards the exact same spot. Reiki <laughs> section fighting here. Cat and Crowd gone. Need to connect the fuel again. Reiki section pushed away. How about just retreating back towards the truck to get things done there? You know, press T or click the retreat button. Would achieve something rather than just sending in troops hello on men and health against chaps equipped with assault rifle, the Sturmgewehr 44. Blowing apart a few barrels. Come on. There we go, Brit down. Come on, Lamfada, retreat. Unit preservation. Jerry's overrunning one of our sectors. Apparently he somehow managed to force away Kojakian, but how long, for how long, of course, is going to be a much better question. Troops standing out here doing nothing against someone needs to retreat and get reinforced as well. I know. Oh dear, and there we go, another push from the north here. Brits need to get away, retreat the sappers, Lamfada, retreat, retreat. Oh dear, why do you insist on such behaviour? Now they're pushing up, just stop and fire the Bren guns, don't fire unless you're standing still. They are like machine guns, not assault rifles. Panzer guns are suffering a bit, Bren guns are quite nasty. Panzer gun escort lost, why was sent in with such low health? It's beyond me. And getting another Bren code despite knowing that his opponent has a lot of Panzer is just 
down right wasteful as well it's not going to last long and thus that sense it's not really a good move at all and in particular not wasting munitions for it as well troops reinforcing that's something casual clean station would be nice get a bit of healing on the troops so they can last a bit longer feed less veteran to the panzer grenadiers veterancy free already probably do knocking out all those trucks bit of defensive and even a little bit of offensive veterancy trying to get the brand care but the brand care so far is escaping quite marvelously and does not escape the panzer grenadiers get it nice hit turns it into scrap and now we're seeing a vickers going up here to try and protect the headquarters a bit better I say again we are losing a sector Instead, decides to cancel it and stop at least doing it and move in against the considerably larger Panzer Grenadier force. Seems a bit reckless. And another unit seems to have been lost for Lamfada. Assault Grenadiers charge in. Bren Gunners trying to get away, taking losses. Panzer is actually taking heavy losses, partly amongst other things, apparently to. The sappers and whatnot, the lieutenant and the Bren guns, and there we go. The Panzer gunners were forced away. Veteran T2 for the lieutenant, making the British troops supporting much nasty. And incendiary grenade almost kills the lieutenant, also burns quite a few sappers. How about just finishing this? And also getting a casualty team station. And now the Panzer guns are moving in and getting cut down by the Bren gunners. The Bren gun was quite an accurate light machine gun. Generally not meant for a high rate of fire like the German MG 34 or 42. But then again, the Brits thought rather that was sort of a lot of wastage and accuracy and they wanted accuracy, whereas the Germans tended to sort of focus on the other part of what firing a lot of bullets also meant. It meant you were more likely to kill someone in the first burst, amongst other things. But overall, I mean, the British and the Germans sort of had the same thought in mind. Focus on the MGs, have their rifle support it. So there you go. Heading towards the centre here, finally moving a bit out. Again, casual clearing station is needed. Get the SAP infantry section to moving, working on that now, if you'd be so kind, Mr. Lamfada. It shall benefit you more greatly. And what is this? A vehicle been coming out. Commanders popping in, so airborne ver or commanders versus Luftwaffe. Wirbelwind tearing up the recce section. They just need to get out of there. A few getting cut down there. Not really the happiest of fates. Securing the southern victory point. HQ is down to 300 points. Look, stick company going up. Might see increased squad size and a further focus on just charging in Panzer Grenadiers. Clearly not our most skilled commander. There we go. Casualty Station finally going up. Going for the victory point. In fact, he's going for as many victory points as possible to stop the drain. That's not bad. We have been pulled back. Not bad either. He doesn't want to, of course, risk it getting overwhelmed. So in that sense, he's doing, doing at least something right. And apparently some Luftwaffe troops have been scraped up from either nearby Luftwaffe division, in which case it would have been the 16th, or from some nearby Luftwaffe units and general security units. Who knows? And pressed into support. Taking the 10th SS. Beobly moves in. Kengard down. Rather heroically quick. And there we go, the Sabs are quickly getting suppressed by the Vivalvin's flat feeling gun. And we do see the Sappers retreating rather heroically through the swampy territory while the Panzer is pushed forwards. Lots of assault rifles now. There we go, even the Lieutenant is actually getting healed a bit. That is good. Considerably better than previously. Commander securing what they can down there. And the Vickers is holding out there. A World War One weapon. Well, close to World War One, anyways, mate, there. Generally fits the bill of most initial machine guns that were made about that period, which is water cooled with a large thing like that. The German MG8 was largely following the same lines there. And even. Oh, catching some of the Panzers right there. Get the Bren gunners into the fight, Lamfada. Not the Sappers first. 
get the chaps. Oh, he actually loses a Panzer Ghost Squad, but still. When you have LMGs, get them shooting at the infantry. Be the BARs or Brens or MG42s, get them firing. Don't have them standing behind the bloody hedgerows, mate. And there we go, Swamp's running a bit of a problem, but looks like the Lillaboom does escape. Panzerist could provide a bit of covering, fine, instead of taking the point. Come on, Deckung's fire. Bren Gunner's opening up at close range. Veterans is free for the Lieutenant, also gives another command point. And another squad went down. Tragic, but could have been avoided. Again, unit preservation does not seem to be the highlight of either side. And we also see a flak failing down here. Laying down something a bit more defensive. I would have preferred if the placement was a bit further away from the hedgerows and the all that stuff there. Towards a bit more up in the open, so it's a bit harder to creep up on. Here, I mean, you could technically sneak up there with a grenade and possibly knock out the crew, which would mean it would be a bit wasted. So, just a thought there, ladies and gentlemen, for those curious. In the emplacement of flat feelings, I mean, you rarely see it in upsets to say, you know, they're completely rubbish, but they're not that often necessary either. And the problem is, they can also be rather easily cleared out if you're not careful. But if you are going to use them, please make it a bit harder for the opponent to actually clear them out. Luftwaffe troops pushed away from the commanders, hiding behind a stock of munitions. Too bad it's for World War I French artillery. Well, I'm just guessing, but it could be. And certainly some of the German guns were basically French artillery of quite some older caliber. Partly because I don't think the French had actually been able to sort of re reform their artillery branch, actually, I think. They only had some problems with their army, basically, partly amongst other things. They had to rely on a conscript army with only one year. It's training. Which makes it a bit difficult to sort of keep an elite army at all. Well, any sort of decent army anyways. But we are seeing Armada out. Clearly Kojakian is expecting some sort of armoured rush from the Commonwealth. For which the Armada would do nicely. Looks like a larger engagement going to go off here in the centre. Commandos not faring too well against the flak feeling. Luftwaffe troops moving in. Lieutenant out in the open versus a Bibelvin and a flak feeling that is considerably less good. We are seeing those sappers moving in. Going to pop into the buildings right here. This could actually prove to be a trap for the armoured vehicles of the 10th SS. Commandos fighting against Luftwaffe. Vibbelin moving in. Sappers hiding inside the building. And the commanders will go down, I fear. Down. Indeed. And there we go. Sappers inside one of the buildings. While, oh, my, others might creep in while the crowds are occupied with the first one. And the Vibbelin is taking quite a bit of fire. And the actually, by the way. AA guns firing into the houses. Crushing brick and mortar, but not quite enough. Most ruining all the utensils. In that sense, it might have been a slightly good idea to have wired off this area first, you know. Luftwaffe troops can lay down wire. It's not a lot of British players that, or German Pacific players who actually take advantage of this, but again, you know, wiring down areas to make it harder for your opponent to get to it can pay off, in particular when it involves then ensuring someone goes and doesn't get the drop on your flat feelings with Piats. Again. Some more preparation for this position would have been considerably nice, I believe. Main gun destroyed on the Wirbelwind. Perhaps should have been retreated. And the Wirbelwind is lost. Considerable losses right there, in fact, for the 10th SS. Frunsberg Panzer Division. Wirbelwind. Flakfeeling. Marder Free. Lost Panzergrenadiers. Murder and looks like the Luftwaffe troops won't be making it home to Sauerkraut und Bier either. In fact, yes, indeed. And Panzer is charging straight into a line of Bren gunners. Again, rule of thumb: charging into men with automatic weapons, in particular light machine guns, tends to be a slightly bad idea. Largely, also applies to MP40s and assault rifles or any sort of submachine gun. But you know, kindly don't tends to be of a, a bad idea. As you might have noticed right there. Barely made it out of the in alive. But now the British player is 
largely securing a large part of the map, largely due to the fact again that the Pazlik player is suffering heavily, Ready not really dispositioning his troops properly. We and again, not guarding off areas properly. And now he's getting more Luftwaffe troops. Perhaps Fortune Jäger at this stage might have been a better choice to take on the fight against the British, yeah? With perhaps a few, few FG-42s gunning down the Brits in quick succession. And apparently the lieutenant is rummaging through the remains of the Bren carrier. Hoping to find something. Possibly a tea thermos. And looks like a headquarters glider has popped in. Lovely that. Panzers need to get moving again. Inactivity is never good, in particular when you're fighting as a Panzer League, then an army not really suited for the defense against the British, who again you generally don't want to give much time to actually do anything to build up forces. You always want to keep up the pressure against a British player one playing as either the Wehrmacht or the Panzer League. Keep up the pressure. Force a rather more minimal minimal amount of squads you know to be everywhere or keep them under pressure generally you don't want them to build up steam so in that sense here again the Panzer League players making a considerable mistake in allowing the opponent to build up steam and we're now seeing an armored cow all of a sudden at a rather later stage of the match and this stage I actually think we you should perhaps try to get a Panzer IV out and try to take the fight to the British here now but it's a bit too late for that I fear and the captain is for some reason feeling here and take on the Luftwaffe troops the loof of troops convince him otherwise. Good job, Menno. And we are now seeing a Vickers out for the commandos <coughs> supporting the 1st Infantry Division. Oh dear, caught out negative cover. That's that is actually where the Panzer should have been moving in close. And now Macau rolls in. Panzer Speedwagon of the lighter kind. Stuart Light hang out right in front of the Panzer is though with a Panzer Schreck. Taking quite a bit of a nasty hit right there. Kansas shot off a bit late. Again, not necessarily the best armor handling. He should have been keeping at distance and Kansas shot first rather than later. And now the armor car here is taking punishment from the Fiat Commanders and the Vickers. Looks like the Commanders finished that one off while the HMG, the Vickers, kept down the Hun, as it, right here, as it did during the Somme, or somewhere else in World War One. Again, a rather venerable machine gun that the British possessed, over the heavier kind, of course, due to the water cooling. Panzer is under a bit under fire here. Luftwaffe troops planning fire support from an EMI bunch of sticks. Incendio grenades going off. Bush is on fire. Panzer is getting slaughtered. Get this. Oh dear, he's going to lose the heavy veteran once on. Isn't he? Again, unit preservation. Oh, yeah. oh, looks like Lucky Heinz made it out of there. And now the Luftwaffe troops need to get out of there. They're caught right in front of the Vickers and they're charging into the 30 caliber. And the commanders with Sten Gun supporting it. Not really very good handling by Code Jackie and either. And looks like the Luftwaffe troops will once more be brutally sacrificed to satisfy whatever bizarre cravings that Kojakian might possess. But as you might have noticed, he's not really holding a lot of territory anymore. And now he's getting more to half tracks. Again, I'm not entirely sure that's a good idea. He needs something to gain the advantage. He needs some armor. He needs a Panzer IV or some Panthers or Fortune Jaegers or something. Not more of that. Generally not very strong play by Gojagian after his sort of surprise method did not quite work out for him. Oh, there's a Bren gun drop right there. Need to pick it up and retreat. I mean, he rather fell apart. And you know, that's the sort of one thing can happen for some players. I mean, they're rather, you know, one punch, yeah, and then, oh, that, it, it didn't work. What do I do now? I'm, I'm lost. So again, you know, don't try to sort of set up your entire game on a gimmick. You might find yourself a bit, you know, confused afterwards. And that's clearly what happened here for Go Jack, and he was clearly sort of resolved on that gimmick, the one punch with Panzer Shrek, and hoping that would win him the game. Lamfana was a bit more resilient. How the resilience came about, I can't say, but either way, he's made his way through, and of course now the German commander is finding himself considerably less than useful. Apparently some of his troops here have secured themselves a Bren gun. 
They were clearly, they can't actually use it, so it might have been better to equip some Luftwaffe troops or something else with it. All the chaps with the Panzer Shrek. Good heavens. Going for the cutoff point there, nice harassment. Commanders moving out, apparently another glider appeared, or it's the same one, but never dealt with by the Germans. There's also one there. Looking considerably less safe. Forward supply lines are broken. Mortar half track setting up to fire on the Tommy's positions. Now low fiber troops are moving out again. They could have secured the Bren or the tank buster chaps could have secured the Bren instead it went to the guys already equipped fully with assault weapons. Which seems a bit pointless. Uh, we just need an armored command truck. In fact, we do have one, so we just need some Cromwells, in which case Kojakian will be in a considerable amount of trouble. Dealing with the headquarters command guy, we are seeing a response to lots of sappers. And the command, though, HMG. Panzers are quickly pulling up behind cover. Could need some support from other troops nearby, or the mortar half tech. Come on! Support and flank. In fact, he would take up position right there in the house and fire down upon the troops from that commander till going in against the Panzer Grenadiers. Flank for heaven's sake, Kojakian. Well, is that something you can't find in your dictionary? Incendiary rounds going in here, that's alright, but a bit late. Again, Kojakian needs to sharpen up on his Panzer Elite play. Point being secured down there. Secure. Lieutenant having fun down, down there. Point being secured here. Panzer divisions are down to 200 points. And Panzer divisions are down to 200 points. Tragic. Someone shall pay for this. And they shall pay for it on the Eastern Front. What's the Italian Front? Not quite as bad, but not quite as well equipped either. Plus, everybody speaks Italian. Commander sneaking up here on some Panzer Grenadiers. Heinz looking rather worried. And there we go, Commander's moving in, Sten guns firing. Pulling up behind, heavy cover, excellent. Incendio grenade though from the Panzer Grenadiers, could deny them, and a grenade goes off! Killing two Panzer Grenadiers outright, and now the Commander's moving in to finish off the job. Incendio grenade! Way too late! NCO's reporting a German timing, 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 and you know, just Our pay supply attention. Lines are being threatened. Oh well, Lieutenant is still alive. Veteran is free. Bit of artillery going in in the north. Doing quite a bit of damage, pressing, and an entire squad of Panzer gunners were lost. In the blink of a few eyes, a few eye blinks. We are seeing a flag 88 now going up. Some heavier anti-aircraft artillery hiding in the flowers. Not the usual sort of camouflage. Look, Heinz, I'm a pretty flower. Yes, you are, Jürgen. Now shut up and aim. And we are seeing the Cromwell trashing a Opel Blitz quite nicely. Unless, of course, you like the Opel Blitz like me, in which case it's a tragedy. Point being secured up there. More rounds going in here and there, I hear. More Panzer is going to get wasted. In the name of Kojakian. Bit of fighting down here as commanders move in. Another grenade could do nicely against this clumped up force. Again, a grenade. Granate, instead, he's calling artillery, allowing the troops to get away. Brilliant, Lumfana. Absolutely pointless. And of course, they escaped rather than again the grenade, which might actually kill them. Cromwell moving up towards the center, Panzer Gunner is on the run, and of course Kojakian only now has the flak hiding in the flowers. Could be some sort of poem. Too bad I'm not a poet. No further troops moving in against Cromwell's, and there we go, the flak fine, but we are seeing Sabbaths moving in. With Piet, including the Piet Commandos. And of course the mortar half tank is also a problem. And the veterans free left in there providing support for everyone nearby. Oh, 
might want to use the Lieutenant to take the point while the Commando steal with the others. I mean, really, priorities. 30 caliber here flying on the Panzer grenade is called out in the open, getting suppressed but not pinned, and they're going to send a grenade into the house, which is actually taking quite a bit of punishment. The 30 caliber though does not stop, it keeps firing. Panzer is charging in through the south, right into the Cromwells. Kojakian, what are you thinking, mate? There we go, Panzer is getting shredded, shattered, and murdered. Another engineer grenade in an attempt to force out the commandos, but the Cromwells rather make short work of them. And this is a largely game over for Hojakian. A nice sort of punch, but again, seemed more like a gimmick, and in which case, he rather floundered onwards. Taking up position there. Grenade inside the window could sort out some of the Panzer gun it is. And again, here, if they had, they had a Bren gun, they might have been actually able to cause a problem. No, he's actually laying down a commando demo charge. I mean, all he could do, of course, was just leave. But will he actually do that? Yes, now he does. Oh, no, he's actually going to... No! Why did you do that? You don't move towards a commando demo charge. You move away from it. And Patino is right around the corner and you can't hit it. We are seeing some henchmen called in, some air support, the Luftwaffe desperately tries to salvage Kojakian's honor, but I'm pretty sure that's a bit hard to do. Cromwell's getting hammered by 75mm cannon fire from the Henschel Panzernacker. One Cromwell bites the dust, the other one is in dire straits. And why are you moving in a glider right in front of the flag feelings? That's just asking for it to be knocked out. And looks like the Cromwell number two barely survives the Henschel strafing run. Very close that though. Probably because the last chap lost sight of it, thus ensuring the Henschels couldn't hit. In that case. Game over, and there we go, GG from both players, game over, a novice Monday fight done. What, of course, can we learn from this? Of course, I mean, one of the things, of course, is, you know, ensure that your headquarters is, you know, placed sensibly. This would, in overall, been a better placement from the beginning on, and, of course, also ensure that your troops are then positioned in the way so the enemy can't just rush at it. And, of course, responding to things nicely when it happens, and also, again, don't place it up there. Place it down here. Again, note, you know, the point right here encompasses this entire sector. You can place it anywhere. You don't have to place it out there where the troops then have to move slowly to get anywhere. It's pointless. It's bad. It's actually bad. Overall, unit preservation. Again, retreat troops when there's no damage they can do. And the waste of them would just, you know, hurt your economy. Get some armor. I mean, one thing that Amphala could have done a bit better was, you know, taking up fast again. But if, you know, he'd preserved all of this, it might have done so. Problem for Kojakian, hanging about too long, not getting any armor. Even a Panzer IV would have helped him considerably initially with some armored skirts, machine guns, Panthers later on, or something. Fault him, Jaeger. But again, unit preservation wasn't one major concern from him. A bit too gimmicky there with the half tax. It worked all right, but again, there was nothing to really follow up or anything to sort of, you know, he just sort of, oh, well. Work once, I'll just go in, and then eventually he got it knocked out, in which case he was considerably less well off. So something to consider there, and basically just floundered. Poor placement of the flak failing, and well, you know, again, just not very well, and again, not sort of well measured response. He all of a sudden got a martyr, which he just locked down for no apparent reason, which again is pointless. So a lot of mistakes there. Hope you learned something from this. If you did, why not subscribe to your friends? And if you didn't, well, why not send a replay beyond or provide some feedback in the comments? This is Imperial Dane wishing you all a happy new year and a happy day and cheers.